Facebook. How are we? I am going to be talking Instagram and I've actually just hit the live button because <laughs> I've been in my team group and I'm like, this is probably about 15 minutes ago. I'm going live in two minutes. I'm doing the training in two minutes. And then Sophie's messaging us. She said she's going to die of loneliness like a budgie because I'm not going down before Christmas. <laughs> then she said a ferret. So I'm like talking to her. Then I've got Clinton messaging and, and another bit. And it's like, I'm just going live. I'm just leaving them to it. I'm leaving them to it. And I've just realised I've got to knock my heat off and suck my ass off. <laughs> but anyway, good morning, everybody. How are we? Let me know in the comments if you are new to watching my random lives, which I do need to get more consistent doing. I think that's going to be better for everyone if I do what every day. I don't even care if I could just be consistent instead of just sporadically showing up every few days or so. Um, Sally Ann, good morning. Sharon, good morning. Um, so yeah, I am going to be talking Instagram. Now, if you've not read my last post, uh, well, it's a couple of posts ago, let me know and I will drop you the link at the end of this um, when you can read it all at your own leisure. It's a huge blog post I wrote about Instagram because I love Instagram and everybody in my team knows I just bang on about it all the time because it's where I get all my signups. It's where I got all my new members. I got two new customers the other night. One happens to just live around the corner who got me on Instagram. So I absolutely love it for business growth. And we, if you don't know, you probably, a lot of you will know my stories. I built my whole business up on social media using Facebook and Facebook pages and YouTube. Um, but my business now, yes, I'm still all over YouTube. I post every single week or, you know, every other week. I'm still all over my business page doing my tips every week and stuff like that. But my core business is from Instagram. So I'm going to share some tips with you guys on how you can probably, I suppose, you know, dip your toe, toes into it and, and, and try and do it a bit better. And I mean that in the nicest way because there's some shit out there. And I don't mean you watching this. I mean, there's just some shit out there. Um, and you've got to always put yourself into, no matter what you're doing, if you're on Facebook, if you are on YouTube, you know, don't sit and, and do a, a 20 minute YouTube video because you're going to bore the pants off people. Don't sit and do a 20 minute live. You bore the pants off people unless it's good quality content, which I am going to give you guys today. Um, so this is my blog post. I've printed it all out. Don't worry, I am not going to go through it all because you can all read it. Um, but I am going to touch on um, some of the, the main bits that you all need to look at. Um, so yeah, so let's let's get going. If you do have any questions, please drop them in the comments. Karina, I need Instagram. Karina, you so do. Karina does crafts. And for crafts, it's like Etsy. Etsy is where you sell your crafts and your graphics and all that sort of stuff. I couldn't sell perfume on Etsy because you certainly it's not the place to do it. Um, Instagram is visual and it's about, you know, I'm going to talk about this on here. Don't copy and paste crappy graphics off google you know the quotes you know i don't know whatever any any sort of quote big big thing any excuses or whatever don't screenshot it off google and then put it on instagram load up canva create your own i do what i done the other day and take a load of photos in here to the side and then you've got room there to put a quote get creative and that's what Instagram's about so Karina you really really need to be on Instagram for your business you would sell shit loads of product on there um, let's have a little look so I will, I'll try and get through the questions when I can um, yep I will ping you the link Deb um, hi Pauline good 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 I'm glad to see you've got lots of people on okay so first thing on your Instagram has to be your bio I've done many workshop on this and I've screenshotted, I call it the good, the bad and the ugly. And there's some shit out there and there's some ugly out there and there's some good. And I'm not saying anything I say is absolutely, you know, the gospel, let's do this, Shannon, you know, what, what she said. Because it could be a load of shit to somebody, it might not work. But, <laughs> but it does work. Um, just put your spin on it, you know, because you really do. It's about you and who you are. So I'm just loading up my Instagram now. Um, so, oh, that's Bella. That was today's post. Bit of a quote, you see, and I used the dog. There, there we go. So that is my bio. That's Clint. Um, <laughs> let's have a look. There we go. That's my bio. It's a bit blurry there, isn't it? 
but you have to name what you do to people you can't just have a bio Sharon Howard lives in Carlisle mum of two got two dogs who gives a shit nobody gives a shit about that and this is what you have to remember people are scrolling they have to stop be interested to then continue on in their journey and I find that most of my people all my people come from my stories so I post a story every hour really there's always about 10 on there um because when you log on to Instagram I want my name to be right along the top and um, let me just show you an example so if you click the home screen see Holly's just done a post, Vicky's just done a post, my cousin's just done a post, and Alex Beaton's just done a post. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit them first because I want to know what they've been talking about because I follow them and I'm interested. This is the same for people who, who you're following, who you potentially want to join your team. You can then click on your, let's, let's go on my followers. Who's following me? Let me engage with somebody who's following me. And you look a lot up here. And if it's got a red circle, that's my team training. No, it's not. I do have a team training one with that logo um, right there. So there's a couple of people there with red along their names. They're just posted to their story. So I'm going to click on one of them and I'm going to, you know, drop a comment, engage, blah, blah, blah. That's what you do every single day, all day when you get the chance. Just load it up. Who's following? Just engage, 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 engage. That's something else. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about my bio, for God's sake. I tell you, when I when I when I do these, I don't stop. I don't stop for breath. Morning, Richard. Um, okay, so my bio, I change it all the time. Um, the core bits are still the same, but I've just changed my headline. Um, so I'm helping ambitious women shine online with their own business because whatever I do, I've seen my blog. If you haven't gone and check it out, shadenhowitt.com. It has got tips, tricks for Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram um oh god every platform going i'm on there and i that's where I, I drive traffic from to me and at the minute pinterest is getting me some really really good traffic over to my blog post and it's all part of your strategy and if you're not using um instagram for a strategy and you're just posting on it really nilly it's not going to give you the best results so i only use instagram strategically i have two accounts i have one for my perfume sales and I have one for me and it's not personal because Facebook's my personal one I use Instagram to share my journey behind the scenes and it's my stories that you're going to see probably you know how to make your slimming well chicken curry and all that that's who I am but my main feed is to inspire motivate train um, and help people and show people that you know they join my team they get amazing support and training um, so that's my strategy on Instagram. Now, so bio, helping ambitious women shine online with their own business. I'm a goal setter, action taker, and I'm a results creator. And I am. And, and, and that's, that, that's what I do. And I help make dreams a reality. Again, that's what I do because I help people um, with training and, you know, pros. Just follow it. Just, just there. I'm just there to help guide people. So make sure that you go and look at your bio, go and look, go and look at mine, go and have a look at my profile. Don't copy it word for word, because that's a bit shitty. Take inspiration from it and put your tweak on it. And, and just think, if you're putting mum of five cats, two goldfish and, and three frogs, nobody gives a shit. That is not going to make me want to want to hit your feed, look at your story and get to know who you are. So just think of what you are writing on your bio and you've got to have some on it. There's, you know, not just one line and, and a click join my team. That again is not going to bring people. Right. OK, so let's have a little look. Yeah, you need to set your accounts to business. Not if I'm on if I go on here now and I look through people's accounts, if you're in FM and it's like requests to add them, I'm like, oh, well, I don't add people from face from F from the same company. I just don't do it because it's no benefit to me. You ain't going to join my team and you're not going to buy products. So I'm not going to follow you um, in the nicest way because <laughs> it just doesn't help. It's like Facebook. You know, don't add me as a friend because I'm not going to accept it or I'm not going to, you know, because it's not going to help the algorithm. I know I hate saying that word, but it really doesn't help. Um, so it's the same with Instagram. Be careful who you're following because you want people who are genuinely going to connect. Right. Um, 
I do this again and I always go for my tangents. So yeah, you have to have, yeah, if I'm going on Instagram and I see somebody who's request to follow, especially if you're an FM, you know, and it doesn't matter any bloody business and it's, I've got a request, I'm not going to follow you. I'm going to go somewhere else because I haven't got time. I haven't got time to hit um, request to follow. I want to buy something. I want to look at your profile now. I want information now. And if you can't give me that now, I don't want to know and I'm going to move on and seriously that's what people think so make sure your account is set to public and it's set to business so you can track your insights and you know this is all part of it you have to be prepared to look at insights and what works and what doesn't work and I know what doesn't and I know what does work so every time I put a post like this one that's had 40 47 people um, comment on that and like it and do all that jazz but we're losing likes so it doesn't give a shit really you know it doesn't really matter now because we're losing the likes the heart button um, but I know that this content about me and Clint about you know the kids having fun I mean that's another one that got lots of, of um, interaction ah and I'm going to share that one again that one obviously got loads of interaction as well so stuff that about your journey your life what motivates you what what makes you tick your um, when you first started the company, what you know stopped you from got joining? Why did you join? People love all that deep shit. So you've got to to not just post random stuff, but think about it. So even if you're only doing four posts a week, you've got to think about them. Look at the the picture. Is it a good picture? Use it. Write about it. I can take um, a couple of days to actually create one post because I plan all mine. Um, I plan my posts. I never used to until I found an app which is on this called Plan That. And it ha I can show you actually, it has a little grid on it. And I love it. I absolutely love this app because um, I don't know why Bella's on there twice. But basically, that's my grid. And I, I've still got to fill these up for the rest of the week. Um, there we go. That's it. So I've got to fill the rest of that up for this for this week. So I'll sit and I'll think, what testimonial can I do? What meetup have I been on? Or when did we last go on the gin, which was probably last week? And that's just part of me, who I am. And I will put a story into that. So plan that. It's free. And that really helps me plan what I'm going to do. Right. So have your account set to, to public. Have it set to business or creator. Um, I, I've, I've flicked between the two. I'm using business for the insights at the minute. Creator, it's it's six and two threes. You just get different insights on that. Okay, so we know about making your bio clear, clear on who they are following. Have it public. Be consistent. This is a huge one. And even um, you know, they say it in my team all the time. I need to get back on it. You know, I haven't posted on it for seven days, and I'm like, what? Seven days? What? You know, it's like Facebook. You've got. To people will start to follow you when they know you're going to deliver content. They'll know that they can rely on you, they can see you, and if you're just dipping in when you can be asked, people aren't asked about following you either. So make sure every single day you add, use that plan, like I said, you know, I use my laptop so my images are up there and I just can just, I'll get a bing, your post's ready to go and I'll sit here and I'll post and then I'm there to engage with people as well. Save so much time. So be consistent. Um, also, there's, just like Facebook, think about what time of day your, your people are online. You know, if you're a mum and you're targeting mums or you're a dad and you're targeting dads, don't be posting at eight o'clock in the morning because everyone's up to high door. They're chasing the kids around to finish the breakfast. They're trying to find shoes. They are not in any way, shape or form, ready to sit and look at your post on Instagram. Maybe when they've come home from the school run, they are more chilled, they've got a cuppa, they are ready to sit and catch up on Instagram. That's the time to post. And the same on a night um, when kids are in bed and stuff like that, and they're maybe chilling. I, I tend to do a lot. I always have final check-in before bed. So sometimes my, my best times, it tells me, is like 9 o'clock at night sometimes, 10 o'clock at night um everybody's different but just go with what you your your customers are you know when are they online and just think a little bit more about when the time is is to post um so yeah be super consistent because if you're not nobody's going to give a shit about you because they ain't going to see you quality photos no crappy screenshots seriously i see it all the time you know and some of my team they're guilty but i'll tell them <laughs> you, you, your images are shit you've got to think about your image 
because it's very easy to go onto Google, screenshot a, a quote, and put it on on your Instagram, and it's like, well, what the freaking hell's that? You know, that's what you're. What's, that's what people think. So you've got to be really harsh and critical with yourself. Will that person think I've took the time to post that? And they'll think, no, you've just been lazy and just screenshot it. Load up Canva, get creative. Like I say, you could do a photo, put a little quote on a little sidewall. You know, could be drinking my coffee with my man filter mug. Um, it's just different and people want to see different they don't want to see what they can find themselves on google um so yeah there's no there's no right and wrong i mean i i'll show you my perfume on i do like my perfume one i must admit because i've seen so many perfume accounts out there that are just a mishmash and a, it's a mishmash and instagram is about aesthetics it's about you know it's gonna be you you want to be look attractive to get God, you, do you know what I mean? <laughs> You've got to look attractive to people to get them to follow you. So anyway, right, this is my perfume one. And as you can see, it's uniformed. And it doesn't take me any doing. And I use Planoly for this. Again, I'll sit and I'll spend an hour and I'll go on Canva. I'll create these images and I'll put them in and I'll alternate them. But if I was to do that on a whim, it would take me forever. And I've done that before on my personal account. Quote, photo, quote, photo, quote, photo. And it took me forever. It, took, it overtook my life. And I thought, I haven't got time for this shit. So, but now I sit and plan ahead. I do have time for, time for this shit. But that is more uniformed um, than when I started it to that. I just think that looks a lot better personally. But that's my opinion. Everybody's different. Um, so, again, my point is think about, you know, what people are seeing on it as well. Um, so, yeah. But my main account is totally different that is random but it's not out of place either because it, it's my journey it's about me working having fun and um, I, I post once every six or so a product I didn't but um, I've been speaking to Holly Barras who's on here and I do some coaching with Holly um, she's amazing you need and and I've plugged it in my blog as well I've plugged it in my blog Holly and um, you all need to be following Holly Barras um, I <laughs> Baras. She gets the posh name from me. Um, so yeah, so you can see it's just my journey, and people love anything with me and Clint on. Seriously, people buzz it. So go and get some selfies with with your with your other half. I do his editing because whenever I'm out, I'm like, Clint, can we have a selfie? He's like, Oh for God's sake! And I'm like, It's Instagram. It's like Instagram, and I've got a full file on my computer called me. And it has another in, inside one. It's got me and the kids, me and Clint, me and the team. And then I will use those photos and I'll, 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 I'll slot them in. And planning really has saved me so much time and, and made a huge difference with my account because I've sat and I've thought about what I'm actually going to post instead of just posting shit. Because um, I was, you know, I was just, just wasn't thinking. Right, follow people with the same interests of you. So if you you are into slimming world and you are doing all your, you know, your recipes and stuff, you know, follow people who've got those same interests because your stories are going to reflect that and people will see your stories. You can start commenting. You can start engaging on theirs. Can you send me the recipe? They'll come to you. Can you send me the recipe? And that's how relationships are formed. So if you're following people, I could be following people, I don't know, in Kazakhstan, where I don't understand the jot of the language. So how the hell am I going to be able to engage with them? I can't because I don't understand them for what. So I need to be following people that I understand. And I posted, yeah, I posted Bella today, which is, I was ooming and on about posting the dog, but she had a valuable quote. So yes, I did post it. And again, go and read the story behind it because that that is valuable and I think other people will find that valuable too so follow people that you can have that um conversation and build that relationship with right hashtags oh my frigging god hashtags and if Holly's still watching this Jesus Christ how many of you oh I don't worry Holly I've, I've plugged you I've plugged you well in there <laughs> as I would I've got a girl crush on Holly on Holly hashtags Jesus you know, when you are selling a product on Instagram, you need to be found and people are not going to come and find me if all I'm doing is hashtag, you know, FM perfume, hashtag and my business name because nobody knows about my business name yet. Nobody knows. They are just scrolling and, you know, they might be following, you know, perfume deals. 
you know something so you need to be to be thinking about that hashtag and you know how relevant it is to that post again i've seen posts um with perfume with hashtag i don't know it could have save the world on it or you know save the save the penguins what's that got to do with a bottle of perfume diddly squat so you've got to sit and think about what you are actually going to be posting about on your hashtags again i've got it's all on the on the on this this post anyway but gary vaynerchuk i absolutely love the man again everybody knows i've buzzed on about gary v forever ever since i you know basically went online i think i've got all of his books i had to be you know totally tagging him in posts and it was like oh my god it's responded and i was like yay gary v twitter I'm, i follow him everywhere but he's got a brilliant strategy called the $1.80 strategy on hashtags. Go and look at it. I've got a link in here um, to the blog post that he's done and the video. Honestly, you know, it makes it so much easier when, when you think about the system. And it's I do all my training on, on, you know, based on this, like my 52 weeks content is jab, 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 right hook. You know, you could be problem, 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 solve the problem. So you're weaving people throughout your journey and it's no different to you know to instagram you are doing your jab jab jabs and you want your right hook because you want people to buy from you follow you join your team so ultimately you've got to be it's a strategy so go and look at his strategy about following hashtags that are relevant to 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 who you want to be finding you and and start engaging with it every single day engaging it you know i'll be engaging after this for 10 minutes or so and I go and follow my local town, Carlisle, and I'll go and comment on people. They might think, who's this weirdo Shannon again? Quickly, side note about this um, is I went into a cafe with Sophie. We went for coffee because I kept seeing her on Instagram. I love Carlisle. Is it Carl? I love Carlisle. I love cafe. Anyway, it is amazing cafe. Go there. It's down the lane by McDonald's. So I'm looking at all these and we're going into town and Sophie's like, I said, go look on her Instagram and I'm driving. And she's like, oh my God, mom, you've liked every single cake she's got. I'm going, why do you think we're going to the cafe? So anyways, we get to the cafe to try these amazing cakes that I found on Instagram. The minute I walked in, she went, I said, I've got to come and see these cakes because I keep seeing you. And she's like, oh my God, you're that, you're that woman off Instagram. And I'm like, <laughs> Sophie was mortified for one. She said, I recognise you because I had my bun in. She said, because you've got your, 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 your bun in. <laughs> so you do not realise who is watching you and who actually, you know, takes note of you. So engage locally. Engage with your, you know, your hairdressers, your cafes and all that sort of stuff. Go in, tell them that you found them on Instagram. Because it's nice to know. And I've even been to the dentist and had people say, I've seen you on Facebook. I've seen you on Instagram because i'm not you know i'll get myself out there and and that's exactly what you need to do as well right okay so go and look at gary v he's amazing add the location um to your photos because i follow cities carlisle's a city but there's hardly anyone here in this city so i will tend to to use in my hashtags newcastle and edinburgh those are my two nearest cities and glasgow um so i will drop them in now and again because i want people who are searching hashtag newcastle to find my content the same hashtag carla i want people to find me and come and see who i am you know they might think she's a weirdo move on or they might think oh my god she's absolutely amazing and um come and follow me and that's what i want right share your daily story as i've already said this um about your story don't be posting on facebook every not facebook and Facebook every 10 minutes you know it's like on your feed dropping a photo <laughs> um, it's like on um, when you're on Facebook and you're scrolling it's like oh god there's bloody Debbie again no offense Debbie <laughs> there's only one Debbie I know <laughs> it's you know that's just it's I'm just saying oh my god now she's probably gonna be paranoid about um, what she's posting on Facebook let's call it M Mavis let's let's say Holly's Betty and Mavis they're posting every 10 minutes and then they're on Instagram every 10 minutes what do I do I unfollow them because the bore in my life they are the making me want to pull my eyes out so think about when you're gonna post Um, I only do it do it once a day and I'm gonna be doing it twice a day because yeah no i'm not now i was gonna because my tattoo removal got cancelled so i was gonna post about that with my little spot story but anyway that'll be thursdays um and share your account everywhere tell everyone that you have got instagram because if your followers are not growing 
your sales aren't growing, your team isn't growing. And you've got to, you know, try not to follow more people than are following you. So I think get a good balance with that. But make sure that on your email footers, on your, I've got it on, on this bottom of this blog post, make sure you are following me on Instagram. Make sure, you know, I've got my YouTube account, I've got my Pinterest, I've got my Facebook, I've got Instagram everywhere that's on my YouTube videos, it's on my emails, it's on blog posts, it's everywhere because I want people to find me. And if my account isn't growing, like on Facebook, if my my friends aren't growing, my connections aren't growing, my sales and you know relationships aren't growing. And we're in network marketing. So we're in, in this business to network, make connections and grow businesses. So you have to, to start doing that. Um, and that's it guys. Oh no, number 10. Use what Instagram gave you. Use what your mama gave you, guys. If you've got a, a, a natural ass like me, and it, it, you know, use it. Give it a wiggle. And it, Instagram, it's gave you loads of things to use. So go live on Instagram. Do an IGTV. I've got loads of videos on IGTV. Go and give them a watch. You'll see how you can curl hair if you're over 40. Don't worry, because over 40s can still curl their hair. Um, my Freddie's Flowers delivery is on Instagram TV. That is definitely comedy value, because I thought I could put flowers together until I got a box with instructions and realized I was absolutely shit at it. So anyways, a new delivery comes tomorrow. So watch this space. Let's see if I've improved. Um, did tips value? Do not, like I say, don't go on and bore people about shit that they don't give a shit about that you think they do. You've got to, to know your ideal customer and who you are serving. So how can you help them? Tip Tuesday. I have a tip Tuesday every Tuesday on my Facebook business page. That'll have dropped now. Again, that's all that's automated that. Um, but those tips are valuable to some people. So I can share that tip screenshot it put on my instagram story and that's some more value i've gave somebody so just think about what you're posting but yeah use your locations use your hashtags instagram give you 30 use them so that goes quickly back over to hashtags if you're not using any no one's finding you if you're only using three nobody's finding you if you're only using 10 nobody's probably still finding you because you may be using the wrong hashtags so use 30, a good mix of, of um, hashtags and get found. As I say, if you are not getting discovered and your followers are not growing, neither is your business. There we go. Your lesson for today is over, my fellow network marketers. Just go out there and, you know, think about it instead of product, 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 product. Think of it as a strategy and how you are actually doing it and what you want to achieve from it. I will go back to, to all these questions. I will answer them. But if you do want the link to that blog post, nice juicy one, you'll get Holly's um, link as well. Go and follow her free group for Instagram. She's amazing. And um, yeah, let's get those businesses booming. See you all later. Have a brilliant day.